What's up guys? So this is going to be what's hopefully the first of many Xamarin.Android tutorials. And for those of you that are familiar with Xamarin.Android, what it is is basically software that allows you to build Android applications using the c -sharp code base and the .NET framework. And for those of you that are familiar with .NET, can imagine how awesome that is and it uh, really is great, great and it makes uh, building mobile, mobile applications really easy, fun, and just and quick. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with C Sharp, uh, and more familiar with Java, don't don't worry because C Sharp is actually really close syntax wise with Java, and you'll soon learn that and see that as you learn it, you'll you'll be able to do what you can with Java and and more, and see how powerful C Sharp is with uh, it being powered by .NET. So the, this for tutorial is going to be focused on just setting up Xamarin, getting it going, and getting started and ready for the for the tutorials to come. So go ahead and open up a browser, and head over to Xamarin.com, and scroll to the bottom, and you'll see a download now button. Go ahead and fill out all the information. I've already done this, so just fill out in, in the information and hit download Xamarin for Windows uh, or OS X uh, for a Mac if you're if you're running Mac and go ahead and you should run the setup which should look something like this when you run it Xamarin does a really good job at downloading all the SDKs the uh, it'll you'll get Xamarin Studio the IDE if you're not using Visual Studio and everything so I've already done this. Go ahead and cl complete the process. Uh, once you're done, you should be able to, if you're using Visual Studio, you should be able to open up Visual Studio. And when you create a new project, then you should be able to see the Android in the blank app and be able to start an Android uh, it'll give you it'll build a little template for you as well um, if you're using Xamarin Studio which is a great ID that's built by Xamarin that uh, I prefer Visual Studio but Xamarin Studio is a good ID if you don't have Visual Studio we'll skip that update for right now and go into Oops, new solution and you'll see that you can it's pretty much the similar Android Android library and start up your first app so one thing to do know is Xamarin is a not a free software uh, but however they have come out with a package for students and if you are a student enrolled at a university then you can get Xamarin Indie I believe that um, it's at a really good discounted rate so uh, if I were you to check into that if not um, what you could do is they do offer a 30-day trial for the full .NET and integration and Visual Studio and everything or Xamarin Studio if you would like um, which you can activate after you download and once you want to build your project it should ask you for uh, the license number or to to start the 30-day trial in which when you select it 30 days from now it'll expire so you'll have 30 days to try out all the full features of Xamarin and really get a hang of it and see if you like it and see if it's worth purchasing or seeing or looking into any kind of discounts that might be applicable to you because uh, it really is some great software so uh, let's go ahead and start up our first app and what I'll do is I'll just start it up and show you uh, the template of what what it does for you so new project Android and I'll just leave it app one and Visual Studio will go ahead and generate a uh, basically a bare-bone activity that you can run and see how it works so startup emulator and then Xamarin Android player is uh, comes with the Xamarin tools so you can Google that look it up and it's a really great tool that you can use that's that's a lot faster than the old emulators 
um, and I prefer it, but you can always use the other emulators as well or plug it into your device if you do have one. And every activity that you start will, will have this bare bone. Oh. Okay, so if you're having that problem that I just had the minimum version, really simple, just go ahead and choose the minimum Android version to be 19 or 4.0 or something. And we'll choose 4.0 for right now. And I'll go ahead and build that again. And it shouldn't give me any errors this time. All right, so simple app that it just makes for you. you click, click, and it'll just keep incrementing the number. All right, so there you have it. Uh, the next tutorial should focus on some list views to create a very fundamental thing to learn when you're building a mobile, mobile applications is list views and Xamarin is pretty similar the way it does it in, in Java, but there are some differences. So thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you back. Thank you.